Good morning. Got some hot milk in my double wool CN glass mug. It's a hand blown borosilicate glass mug. Uh, you can it can go from freezer to microwave, uh, microwave to freezer. You can pour. You know, it's just it's like laboratory glass. It withstands changes in temperature really well. However, I have a plastic spoon to use with it because this is a very nice light, lightweight mug and the layers of glass are thin. It is possible to bust through if you use a metal spoon. So I've got a plastic one here. And I was thinking, oh, what should I have this morning? I got this nice big mug and I thought, okay, got Diabolito and I thought I would mix it with Bianco Forte. So Bianco Forte is 7.77 .77 ounces. It's made to brew with milk. Diavolito is a single espresso, very strong, it is, or very intense, I should say, and it's uh, 1.35 ounces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the Bianco Forte first. The reason I'm going to do it first is because it's the larger one. And then I'll do the Diavolito, but I'll be able to see if I can run it through only once or maybe twice. So this ought to be a fairly powerful cup of coffee this morning. Um, how did I decide to do it this way? I don't know, the dog got me up real early. We've already walked that far. We walked 0.8 miles this morning. So between three quarters and a full mile. And um, what time is it? Almost 7.15. But we got back from walking probably 15 minutes ago. So I could use a good strong cup of coffee. I'm not gonna go back to bed, so. So I need the coffee. Okay. And, yeah, so I was saying, how did I decide to do this? Well, I thought, I need to do something that will fit in this mug, because it's 17 ounces. But remember, the crema, you know, kind of puffs up. So, and I did want to put some milk in. It's hot milk. I microwaved it. Okay, so let me just turn this around. We'll see. I think I may be able to run this single espresso Diabolito twice, but we'll see. So, you know, I was thinking this morning when I was out walking the dog. Oh, you know, what, like, before, you know, pandemic, quarantine, and all that stuff, what might I do on a morning like this? I was thinking, well, I might call a friend and say, you know, let's go out for coffee. But very conveniently, I got this machine pretty much right around the same time that, uh, you know, the whole deal started about a year and a half ago. And now I can stay in and have coffee Oh, I'm going to be able to run it through twice. Not only much more inexpensively, but also I don't have to leave the house. I could invite a friend over, but I think I'll just let it be me and Grayson this morning. It's still pretty early. I don't even want to call anybody up. When I walked by some friend's apartments, I didn't see any lights on yet. Oh, I might even be able to run this through three times, but I don't think I need to. I, you know, twice seems to get 
almost all of the coffee-ness out of it. Okay. It almost kind of looks like beer or something, doesn't it? And I must remember, I'm remembering before I sip this, I have got hot coffee that I brewed into hot milk. So I need to sip, not slurp. <laughs> Do you know, this is actually much, much more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Let me put a little more milk try this again. I think I'm going to have to add some sweetener to it. Mm. Do you know what? I'm going to put some half and half into this. Because it, in my mouth, it feels like it needs a little bit sort of thicker, creamier texture. Oh, oh my goodness, I think one more will do it. fun. You know, just experimenting with my coffee. Mmm. That's very good. I like that. Okay. It does not need any sweetener. It just has the unsweetened almond coconut blend milk. And it's got half and half, which is half milk and half cream. And just to recap, this is hot milk with Diavolito, run through twice, Bianco Forte, Ana Virtuo, sounds like some kind of code or something, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Yummy. I'm just going to sit down on the couch with Grayson. Let's see, where is Grayson? I put out his breakfast, but he's not eating. He had a big day yesterday playing with Stella, my daughter's dog. Okay, let's put a light on, see if we can see him. Hey, sleepy doggy. Are you just resting on the sofa? Good morning, Grayson. You're not eating your breakfast yet. Oh, I guess he just needs to rest. 
<sighs> well, we're going to sit and we will watch the birds. There's something out there shaking the hummingbird feeder. I wonder what's going on there. That, oh my goodness, it's some bees. Well, that's not very good. Uh, okay, that's why I have bee guards on my hummingbird feeders. Well, that's not what I was expecting to see this morning. I'll just have to keep an eye out and watch for birds on the various feeders. You know, because I turned the light on and walked up here so quickly, probably scared away the ones that were on the feeders. Well, I'm going to take my cup of coffee over there and sit with that sleepy doggy who woke me up so early. And now he's sacked out on the couch. Listen, I hope that you have a really lovely day today. And that you're open to try some experiments, not just with coffee. How about with your own thinking, with life? God bless you.